Hey knitters, it's Leslie here with YYC Knits. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video on uh, my next design for Malabrigo. Um, I'm actually doing a design with this amazing Malabrigo Rios in the color of glitter and I haven't uh, gotten the pattern up on Ravelry yet, but um, I'm working on it. Um, so yeah, we don't know what it's gonna end up being yet. Um, it might be called Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend, but I'm not too sure about that. How about All That Glitters Isn't Gold? It's another good one. Anyways, um, yeah, lots of ideas and thoughts going around in the old head, so um, good times. So I wanted to do a ruffle um, cast on for this pattern design. Um, and so basically I found a video online, but there was nothing um, doing it in the round. It was like a flat uh, cast on and there wasn't a lot on this um, pleated ruffled edge. So it's a knitted pleated ruffled edge. And so I've got a start here. And so what I'm just gonna do here is explain to you um, kind of what it looks like when it's done. So I just uh, did it up on some double pointed needles, just a little tester to make sure that it was gonna work and it did. And it makes a really nice little pleated ruffled edge. This would make a super cute little um, cheerleading skirt for a Barbie. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, it worked out great. We've got our pleated ruffle here and uh, it just goes all the way around and uh, that's what it looks like when it's done. So it's got a nice little edge there on it and um, yeah I'm quite happy with the way that worked out. So um, basically uh, the video that I watched to learn how to do it was uh, knit flat and so he ended up doing a cast on of 10 plus 2. So 10 stitches plus 2 edge stitches. So all you have to do is omit the edge, edge stitches. And then the only other thing I had to figure out was uh, how many knits I was going to start out with and then what I was going to end up with at, on the other side. So um, to do the pattern, to be able to follow the pattern along, um, I've got four knit stitches here at the beginning of my round and then the other two to make up the six are at the end of my round. So I've got two knits here and then I've got one, two, three, four knit stitches um, on, on the beginning of the round. So it's a total of six knits, four purls, all the way around so making up 10 stitches in total so that's our pattern repeat is uh, six knits four purls for a total of 10 stitches and that's that's our repeat so um, yeah so basically you're gonna cast on double the amount of stitches that you're gonna want to end up with so um, I'm making a cowl. I want it to be a nice size around the neck. So basically, um, I just cast on double the amount of stitches that I want to end up with uh, when I'm done the pleated ruffle. So that's what I did. Um, I cast on 240 stitches. Um, and so multiples of 10 is what you want to cast on. So you can cast on 30, 40, 50, 60, any multiple of 10. And uh, I've got 240 here. So I'm going to end up with 120 stitches. Um, and then when I'm knitting my cowl in, uh, around. So um, that's how it works. So I've got, uh, how many stitches do I have on here? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, 15 it looks like. So I started out with 30. And actually that's right. I started out with 30. And so um, I ended up with 15 stitches here on my needles. And I had 10 on each needle. Um, and I was knitting uh, with three double points in the round. So there is our knitted, pleated, cast on, ruffled edge in the round. 
Um, so basically the the pattern will be posted on on under YYC knits. That's my username on Ravelry. And uh, there'll be written directions with it as well as this YouTube video. But just to um, just to show you here um, how it works, um, I've just knit, I've done my cast on, so I've cast it on. 240 stitches which is the multiples of the 10 sorry for my repetitiveness but I'm just kind of reading my notes here off to the side as I'm going um, and what I've done is I've done a the first row was knit four okay and then purl four knit six to the last six stitches so I did a knit four and then I did purl four knit six purl four knit six purl four, knit six, all the way to the last six stitches. And the last six stitches is a purl four and a knit two, okay? And that comprises of our last two, purl four, knit two. And then when we join this and we work our ruffle pleated edge, um, it works out at the end to be perfect. So, um, what I've done is I've done that first row and then I've knit row two, three, four, five, and six. So I've knit six rows and on row seven is where I'm going to start the um, ruffled pleated edge. So the first part of my directions simply states to knit two. So I'm going to knit the first two of those four knit stitches because I've got four knits. So I'm going to knit the first two, then I'm going to slip the next two onto a cable needle purlwise, and I'm going to hold them in the front of my work. I'm going to try this with this needle. I don't actually own a cable needle because I use a bobby pin. Um, you know, nothing fancy over here. So basically I found this in my knitting and I'm hoping it'll, it'll work. So we're gonna slip those two stitches off and hold them to the front of our work. We're gonna slip the next four stitches onto the right hand needle. So these purl stitches come onto the right hand needle. Okay. And then we're gonna slip the next two knit stitches purlwise onto the cable needle. So these knit stitches are going to be slipped onto the cable needle. So there's a little space between those. Okay. And this is where the magic happens. It's a little bit like um, doing a, a cable. Um, then we're going to slip the four purl stitches back onto the left hand needle from the right hand needle. So we're just following my written instructions. We're going to do this. Okay. And now we're going to knit two together. Okay. Now we're going to knit two together from the cable needle in the front plus the left hand needle in the back. Oh, okay, so slip the four purl back onto left hand needle from the right hand needle. And I don't have the rest of the directions. That's interesting. Slip the four, knit two together from the cable in the front and the left hand needle in the back. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Hmm, what the heck? I need to think about this. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is what we do. So this is not going to work on this needle, and that's what I was wondering. So bear with me here. Um, you'll get the gist of this. I'm just going to do a really scary thing here. I'm going to pull, pull this out, and now I am going to slip my crochet hook in here. Okay, so that's why that needle wouldn't work, because what we need to do now is we need to... you. We need to take 
the four purl stitches here and these two stitches and we need to knit those two together. So this is why I did it this way um, to begin with. So I'm gonna try and make sure this stays in the frame. So we're gonna knit these two stitches here together. That's one, that's two, and this is how it becomes pleated. That's three. I just want to make sure I didn't split that stitch. I think I did. Three, and then four. I'm actually looking around the camera to do this, so it's a little bit cumbersome. So bear with me. So that is, um, that's the first, that's how we uh, do the little pleat. And as you can see, um, there's a little pleat there. So that's what we're going to do all the way around the work. Um, I will actually do that again, just because that uh, might have been a little tricky for you to follow. So... We're going to start again from the beginning. So we're going to knit two because we've got our, um, we've got four knits here, um, if you can see that. So we've got, um, it's, camera's not focusing there. So we've got four knit stitches before our four purls. So we're going to start with knitting those two stitches. So knit two, we're going to slip the next two onto a cable purl wise and hold in the front. I believe now we're going to slip these four onto the right hand needle just to get them out of the way. We're going to slip these two onto the cable or my crochet hook, whatever you have handy, as long as it works for you. Then we're going to slip these four back onto the left hand needle. Uh oh, I dropped one. Hmm, I don't know. Did I not? I don't know what happened here. I only have three. Okay, I need to pause. I'm going to just pause the film here and see where I went wrong. <laughs> 